we got a problem here. So this is Trailer Score. I'm joined by Mr. Kyle Bossman, Mr. Daniel Bloodworth. Yeah. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, the trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, this is, without any question in my mind whatsoever, my favorite trailer of the show. Uh, this, yeah. this, um, uh, yeah, this Jose Canseco came to the plate. Uh, they pitched it low and inside, <laughs> and he he put it right through some guy's windshield in the parking lot. I mean, um, the whole one of the whole reasons why I just completely go bonkers for trailers is it, it, it's so obvious to tell how much work you put into it. And then if you didn't put a lot of work into it, is that because you're stressed out and you don't have, have faith in your product or you, you have a bad marketing team or you're choosing more to focus on your game? I mean, this is, uh, this is beyond legendary, you know, this concept of, you know, bringing this game back. And it's the, the one thing that I kept thinking about uh, that, that kind of made me easily settle back into the mood of like, this is never happening. We're never getting a remake. It's fun. It's like a fun thing to joke about. Yeah. Uh, and it would be great. If, to be perfectly honest, I'd rather have a Final Fantasy VI remake than a Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. But that's another point. It's not like Seven hasn't gotten any love or anything. We've gotten like eight offshoot games. Like, you know, to, we got like Advent Children, which a lot of this seems based on. Um, so like, what do you do? I mean, like that is, if you really put like a lot of, a bunch of Final Fantasy Seven fans in a room and told them like, you know, what would you have ideas for the for a Final Fantasy Seven remake? And they would just spit all this stuff out of it. Like, oh, you can make this better or this better. Oh, imagine that one scene or, you know, the train chase or, you know, like Eris's death, like, all these things. Like, it would be so incredible. It's like, okay, wh what about the trailer? And like, I don't think that would be as easy of a conversation. I think you would really have to rack your brain about like, oh yeah, what do we show? Like, how do we? And I think most people would go off the wall. That yeah. you, you look at the, you know, each one of the Final Fantasy games is just the most amazing soundtrack ever, uh, and uh, you know, it just goes from like good to just amazing. You know, like uh, you know, some are better than others. You know, depending on how you feel. But it's like you have all of these tracks. You know, what do you pick? Uh, and the from the the dialogue that he's saying, the image that you're looking at, the music that you're listening to, and the cast. Which is crazy, you know, like to build anticipation with cast names, yeah. you know, with credits that usually are saved for the end, but to just slowly drop those in. So it just keeps hammering home like, we're doing it, guys. You know, and you, you keep wanting to say no. You keep thinking, no, it's something else. It's a movie. It's a TV show. It's a, it's a Kickstarter campaign. It's a, there's going to be some trick at the end of this, and there is no trick. It lands at the end, and it's mm -hmm. like down to the point that they're like, if there was any concern, remake. And it actually never says Final Fantasy Seven, which I know. is amazing. It even goes, it even goes that far to know that like we can literally just show you this orb with the, with, the, with the or the meteor with yeah. this, you know, with the fire streaming off of it, and yeah. you know exactly what it is. And yeah. I think, I think you know exactly what it is, just like you know how I feel when I see Dishonored and I pick up on these hints. The way you feel, you know, Ian, when you see that Dark Souls thing and you pick up on those hints. The entire trailer is those hints. Yeah. Like the entire trailer is like a good horror film that doesn't is not like the killer's there. You see the killer in the back. The kid, you're like, yes, I saw him. Thanks, movie. You don't need to like. Like, you know, have a music trill and like have all the lighting point in that direction. Like, let me figure something out. Yeah. Well, even and that's the thing too. Like, even the reveal. Like, if you didn't figure it out by now, it's still like it's the back. It's the back of Cloud and Barrett. It's that you know the sword and that gun. You know, like. Yeah. And what's crazy about that is the VO, the narration working two ways. Yes, it makes sense in the context of the game story, but it's saying. The reunion is here. They will be back at that moment when you see Cloud's sword. It's and even before that, what poetry. a line! It's what so a line. genius. Dude, every what? every line in there is directed Dude. to the fans. Oh, oh, but, yeah. oh, but the best one that's directed at fans. That's so that like I can't like I was driving a motor vehicle when this happened, mm -hmm. and literally the was like uh, like started to get chills <laughs> because I'm like I can't believe you're doing this, and I love the line that he's like, if this reunion brings joy. Or fear. Yes. Let us just celebrate their return. Yeah. You know, it's like oh let us God. just like let us literally let us just pause in this moment right now. You know, you guys are all watching around the world. We have you know the people in you know watching on the streams, people in the theater, people in other theaters. Like Sony had like so you can imagine all these little explosions that were happening around the world of all of these people at their local theaters watching the Sony press conference. You know, with all of their friends and just like losing their minds everywhere. And it just had this idea about like, just don't don't think about this too hard. So you're like really thinking about everything that could go wrong. Don't think about when you're getting this. Don't think about anything. Just know that like the promise has been made. Like we, we, are, we are coming out on stage <laughs> right now. We are making that made. promise. And if this project yeah. doesn't happen, we are gonna have to own to that. Yeah. We are all gonna share this moment. We're never gonna forget it. Let's sit back and enjoy this. Um, the first thing you see is just this random subway. You see South Edge on the map, you know, and then yeah. they bring in one cast member and the music is like, what's that? You know, you really got to know seven to know like, oh, that's a clearly a seven track. Um, I mean, he obviously teased it. So you might know what, what it is going going into it. And then we get the slide. You know, and then we get you know, Midgar from a distance. Uh, and none of the shots, none of them that we're seeing are anything close to anything we saw in Seven. 
None of this is like, oh yeah, that one shot. That's from what seven. I love, man. All of it's recreated. It's not like all no, of it's yeah. It's, it's like, not feeling like uh, iconic. Like ooh, we have to show them a chocobo. It's just like no, these are all right. new things. So well, like, like uh, no, no, but I mean, but I think that's what's interesting though, because it's you know when they did that PS3 whatever thing that like got people started on the whole remake train, you know, like they kind of they, they did a complete shot for shot. Um, but but what's yeah. in, what's interesting with this is, it still sticks to Midgar. You know, it still keeps that feel and that vibe of the beginning of the game. It doesn't try to before the beginning. Yeah, you know, even you know I, the, 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 that it's like it's just about to happen. You're literally you're here. It's mm -hmm. like oh, it's like this. You know, the, like right when it went to black, that was it. That was the beginning of seven. That was the beginning of this huge journey, which ends in Sephiroth and the life stream and all of this. You know, it's like this is the this is the this is the launch point. Yeah. Um, and, and just how they slowly, I mean, just director Tetsuya Nomura. It's like, you, ah, yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing to me? Uh -huh. You know, and just slowly, and just slowly baiting those things. And it's just like, it, it, you know, you just, you, you have a dog treat and your dog's just staring at you. You're just like, please, please. And you're just holding it out because you know the dog's going to get it. And you're just like, just, you know, really cherish this. Really enjoy this treat I'm about to give you. The music's definitely worth talking about as well because it's scary. It's like Jaws is coming. And it's the announcement that's coming. Yeah. You know, it's serving but it might that not, purpose. But it might not. I if you're know. listening to this creepy music, that might mean we're about to break your hearts. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The music could have been very celebratory and, like, cheesy, and it's not that. It's amazing. And then it finally, like, we right when that sword, right when that enters our brain and we yeah. realize that sword and what we're looking at, and it's like, oh, my God, it's all coming together. That's when the, you know, it's like, I don't know if that's Cloud's theme or if that's the main theme of Final Fantasy VII. When I did the Final Fantasy retrospective, that's the track that I picked cool. when I started the conversation about seven. When wow. I actually, like, had the thing that said seven. Like, mm -hmm. now we're going into it. Uh, that was, like, the lead-in thing. Are you ready, Kyle? Oh, I'm Are ready. you sitting down? I'm sitting down. This is a ten. <laughs> Brandon never gives a game. That's his first ten on this show. This is a ten. Whoa. This is a ten. Uh, they, 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 they... They did it. I mean, they complete like guys. For the record, I, I'm not a huge Seven fan. Like, I loved Advent right. Children. I loved. I played a little bit of Crisis Core. I played a little. You know, I played like a lot of other offshoots of Seven. I have played Seven. You know, start to finish. I've seen other people play Seven. I did the FF Retro. Like, I'm yeah. familiar with these characters and stories. I probably won't play this all the way through, but I you cannot possibly think how you could have better done this. I, I, I I'm, I'm at a loss. From yeah. who got on stage and announced it, to putting it right next to Shenmue, to just just the way you slowly, uh, the way you trusted your your audience, the way you trusted people to to absorb this announcement, and and it's it's not something that you know is like I got that one hit and then it's just not coming back later. It's just every time I watch it now, you know, this is probably the eighth time I see it, and yeah. I still just got chills. And this is not my favorite Final Fantasy game. Right. Uh -huh. I'm not one of those people that's just been begging for this remake. And uh, well done, man. I mean, just wow. Huber it's, would be so happy. The writing, the, the the titles. I mean, just the sound effect when remake at the end there. I mean, oh just, yeah, it's huge. Just everything, it explodes. Just everything. Uh, you know, it's it's you, all of a sudden. There's in one moment you're huddled in the corner, crying, shivering. You know, pleading. You know, please God, give me everything that I want. And then just in a second, you know, you're in a jacuzzi with a with a fine beverage, and there's you know confetti and balloons and the clouds part and everything. I mean, it's just yeah. Uh, they they had you in the palm of their hand, and then they 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 raised you up to Valhalla, and all is well in the Final Fantasy universe. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, um, um, uh, yeah. I mean, to the flower. I mean, there's just so many little touches, and it looks awesome. You know, um, and who knows if it's an engine? You know, they they definitely make you wonder oh. that too. Who knows? You, you oh no 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 no. no, no. no. That's this all CG, CG baby. Actually, uh, that is sweet, sweet yeah. CG. Again, about not not going too far and conjecturing. Like you, you could start all kinds of crazy threads about like what does this mean and what's it going to look like and etc. Uh, Brandon, I never thought it, I would see you give a ten <laughs> to any trailer. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm obviously giving this a ten uh, for most of the same reasons you just communicated, Brandon. Uh, I freaking love the word remake. I love the way this is handled. Basically, when you get a ten, you say this is an innovative trailer and it couldn't have been better, and that is what this is. And, you know, it's not like it's flawless, but it's just like this is this is handling this announcement way better than I could ever imagined, and way better than most other people could, would have done. It's it's a it's it's crazy this game is happening, but it's crazier how good this trailer was. That's that's really it's it gives me so much hope for what this is. I used to think I didn't want a Final Fantasy VII trailer or remake, and like because I thought it'd be stupid. And there's nothing <laughs> stupid about that trailer. Do you know what I mean? They, they handle it so perfectly, so smart, so artfully. God, that's a good trailer. Mr. Blood, no pressure. You don't, you don't need that calculator. Oh! Um, oh. Okay. Um, Put the calculator away! <laughs> 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 uh, 
And I, and I, and I already decided that before you guys revealed yours. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, and, and hopefully we're trying to communicate really why specifically this edit, the conceptualizing, the, yeah. the, the storyboarding, you know, the art, the music, the select. I mean, it's literally not just like, hey, this announcement happened. Like, it's not just we're writing that, you know, the coattails of yeah. that announcement. And I'm in the same boat as you and, you know, like, I, I, I actively disliked Seven more and more after a certain point in the game. Um, so it's it's not my favorite, but there is something about the beginning of that game and the, the times that, like, when it was first revealed and everything, there's like, it just grabs you so hard and they've recaptured that in in this and it's like I, yeah i want to i want to see all of it now i just want to see this ladies and gentlemen the very first 10 the triple crown the triple crown uh to final fantasy 7 wow. and i mean i got you know i gotta be honest like on one hand i feel bad to, you know just like should i, should I give it a 10 you know it's, it's, it's you know just don't do that lightly on the other hand like what, what on earth could ever possibly like come out and have the opportunity that this that this had and i think um, maybe that's another thing that just satisfies me so much is it it, it was such an opportunity. I mean, can you, imagine, can you imagine like once they actually inked that deal, whether that was like, you know, two months ago or something when it finally happened and they're like, yes, we, we like Square was like, do it, put it at the press conference. You know, we have this video that we're just finishing up. Um, and, you know, from that moment that you, you piece this together and you have this idea, it's like, okay, here's exactly how we're going to do this. It's insane, man. It's insane because it's like, it's better than Advent Children. You know what I mean? Advent <laughs> Children's like a little weird and everything's like a little weird. It's just like everything is perfect. And really, in that. and really calm. And, you yeah. know, and it is, it like, it, the Final Fantasy games are zany. They have lots of crazy characters and lots of cool stuff that they could do. I mean, just think about like Killer Instinct when that got announced, you know, that <laughs> remake, and they were just like, Killer Instinct, cut gameplay. Yeah. You know, it was just like there was nothing. You know, there's no build or whatever. You know, yeah. there's no like logo reveal or picking the right character or sound effect. Like when the Doom teaser, when the door opens up, you know, that classic like Doom sound effect. Uh, and this, I mean, this just, it, it's like its like acupuncture. It literally just hits all your high points. You know, they just know exactly where they got you. Yeah. And they put it in there. Making history, E3 2015, first 10, 10, 10, 10, across the board. Uh, congratulations, Square Enix, on not only uh, making people's dreams come true, but making the badass trailer uh, that you did. Uh, uh, maybe we're spoiling that it might end up being the best <laughs> trailer at our awards for, for E3. We'll see what the rest of the staff thinks mm -hmm. about it. But you know what we three think. Thank you, guys. And uh, see you next episode.